so back in the day people used to think that these houses uh, had eyes <laughs> that would watch over them and make sure they didn't do anything bad. Road. The bridge knows when somebody is being untruthful. It's like you're stepping back in time. So we'd been in Brasov, Romania for a couple days, but we had to continue our journey west. Next stop, Sibiu. This is our first time hitchhiking together. Let's see how it goes. So Brasov has been awesome, but we need to make our way toward Hungary. So we're going to Sibiu, which is west. Um, so we're going to do our first hitchhiking experience right now. Hopefully we will get something. We're looking for a roundabout or somewhere where a car is able to pull over and get us. Our first ride was from a priest and a nun, who brought us an astounding 10 minutes in the right direction. We just got a ride from that car for about 10 minutes. <laughs> yeah, but he took us to the road. He said we were standing in a place where cars were going in lots of different directions. And so he took us to the spot where it's right where the highway begins for cars going just to CBU. <laughs> So he took us to a good spot. And this is our good spot. All right, let's see what we can do. So after another half hour, we got picked up. He was a taxi driver already headed to the Cebu airport. And so he said he would give us a lift for free. We spent two hours in silence, as he didn't know any English, and he blasted music the whole way. We passed a lot of little Romanian towns, so tiny that we'd pass through them in less than 20 seconds. We made it to Sibiu. Hey, where are we right now? Sibiu, baby! <laughs> so we waited for like about an hour, and then this guy in a taxi was heading to the Sibiu airport, which is like a little bit further than where we needed to go. And so he just picked us up and took us straight to Sibiu and dropped us off in the historic center where we needed to go. And now we're in Sibiu. Sibiu is a city in Transylvania, Romania, a European capital of culture. It's a medieval town that sits at the foothills of the Sindral Mountains. Okay, now we're walking through the piazza and we're going to a cafe that our couch surfing host said was pretty good and we're going to meet him over there. So we just went to one of these hole in wall places and we got four things here. We got three slices of pizza and a bagel dog basically. And we spent about four dollars on all of this. So now we're gonna find a place to sit. Yeah. Hopefully in the piazza over here. <laughs> So our couch surfing host, who we haven't met yet, pointed us to this place. It's called Cafe Gaya or Gia, Gia, something like that. Take a look at it, it's pretty cool. Really quickly, I just want to thank our two new patrons. Florin Filipescu and Elvis Dino Esquivel. Thanks so much for joining the Patreon. It really helps us out. So that is awesome. We stayed with a couch surfing host, Stefan, who was kind enough to let us roll out our sleeping bags on the floor. He would have provided a bed, but the first night he was already hosting someone else. He offered to sleep on the floor himself and give all the guests his beds. What's up everybody, it's Alexander Travelbum. I'm Sandra. 
<laughs> and we're about to leave our couch surfing host's house to check out CBU. Alright, so we're in Piazza. Piazza Mare. Piazza Mare. <laughs> and this is a good starting off point. It's the center of the city of Sibiu. Called the historical center, I think. Yeah. Yeah. And everything's pastel. <laughs> <laughs> so this is a really good place to start off. Uh, and you go everywhere from here. It's a central point uh, for the whole city. And where are we going to go next? Okay, now we're trying to find Lower Town so we can access some of the oldest parts of CBU. So we're pretty much just walking down and hoping that we'll find <laughs> Lower Town because it's lower in elevation. Let's see if we find it. I think we've made it. So we have cobblestone roads now. Beyond its great architecture, CBU has a dose of bohemian flair. Houses with eyelids-shaped windows line the streets. Cafes and bars, brick buildings are constantly falling apart piece by piece. So this is one of the oldest squares in CBU. And CBU is pretty old, so this must be a very old square. I heard legends of the houses with eyes. Look at the oh, eyes. Yeah. So back in the day, people used to think that these houses uh, had eyes <laughs> that would watch over them and make sure they didn't do anything bad. And so you could see all over CBU, you have these houses with these things that look like eyes. When really it's just like an attic ventilation system, I believe. Those eyes um, do look like they're like yeah. watching. <laughs> but it, yeah, it looks like everywhere you go. It looks like they're like this. squinting at you and like making sure you're not doing something you shouldn't be doing. Yeah, that's exactly. That's that's what they thought. <laughs> but they built the houses. <laughs> <laughs> the houses didn't build themselves with eyes. <laughs> this place has a charm to it that gives you a feeling that you're in a fairy tale. the roads. <laughs> we finally found the Bridge of Lies. So for centuries, the tale has been told that the bridge knows when somebody is being untruthful and when somebody's uh, lying about something while they're on the bridge, the bridge makes noises and it creaks and does a lot of other weird things. And now it's just a good photo opportunity. Look at that. Now it's the moment of truth for me to ask Alex everything I've wanted to know. Road, so cool. And the colors of this building. The roofs are all over the place. I can walk up here. city is awesome. It's like you're stepping back in time, with the exception of 
these cars. Like look at this little narrow cobblestone road and all the buildings along. After Sibiu, it was time to continue west, so we hitched a ride into our next country, Hungary. Take a look at this. On uh, the Shizhenyi 